Hello and welcome to video two in the CAD series. Now in this video we're going to take a look at creating more tables for the characters database. Now personally I'm a science fiction and fantasy writer so I found the three tables that are there which is characters, location and items a little bit restrictive. I wanted a few more tables. This is incredibly easy to do and we're going to jump straight in and start creating those tables now. Okay, so you can see that I'm in my work in progress and as normal I have the character, things and places database but I also have planets, squads and units. So I'm going to show you how to create one of these tables. So to do that, come up to table, down to change and add table, then over to new table and type whatever the name is you want that table to be. In this case I'm going to call it ships. And OK. This pop up is where you create the fields for each one of the templates for the table you're creating. OK. So the first field I'm going to call ships or ship. Now, what I'll mention here is if you want multiple words uh, to describe that field, then you need to um, separate them with an underscore. So I'll call this one ships and shuttles. And I'll explain uh, why in a little bit further on in the video. I'll show you what will happen if you don't put this underscore in between the words. You can't use things like commas and spaces, okay? Um, well, you can, but it just kicks up a, a little error. It won't stop you doing anything, but it just will kick up a little error, which I'll show you later. Now, this one, I want it to be an auto link field. In other words, like when you create a character, I want, um, if I create a ship or a shuttle, I want it to link to my main document. So from this drop down, I'm going to choose auto link. Okay. New field. Well, this is just going to be notes. So I can leave that as text. New field. And I'm going to call this one pick. And I want this to be a picture. So again, from this drop down, I'm going to choose picture from ex external file. So from that drop down, you can create whatever field you want and you can have, ha have as many fields as you want or as few. Okay, so I'm now going to go create table. So the table, the ships table is now created. So what I'm going to do, I'm now going to open one of its forms just by coming up to new. You'll be presented with this screen. Now, if I was to click continue, it will create this form exactly as you see it here. But the trouble is obviously this field is far too small for a picture and really this field is far too small for notes. So I want to edit the, the form itself. So I'm going to go edit form. Now editing this form is exactly the same as editing any form that has text boxes. So for instance, um, if I click on this box, I can drag and drop it down Okay, I can resize it, so I'll make it sort of a size that you would have a photo in. I'll then click the title of that box and drag it down to beside it. Uh, the notes one, I'll just increase the size of that a bit so that I can add a few notes. Everything else there I'm reasonably happy with. Okay, um, what you can do is just in the title here, you can take out that underscore if you want, because that underscore only has to re refer to this field and the anchor. So if you don't want to see the underscore there, you can you can take that out. OK, now I don't like the color gray, um, so I'm going to change the background color to do that. I come up to document to document property, then you need to go to document color background color and choose the color you want. Now I, I've created this color here because it's really soft on my, I'm, I'm dyslexic so I need a really soft color for my backgrounds um, and close which is why I actually use that color for my main text documents. So now that that form is created so I just click save, exit out of the template you can see it says ships PDF that's the template and you can always come back into this template and add more fields if you want. Okay, so when I go to ships and click new this time, it 
brings up the form exactly how I just created it. Now, just to prove that this auto links, I'll, I'll type something like discovery, which would be a name of a ship and apply. I will go to the main document and you can see discovery linked there. I'll just do that again. And you can see that it links. So we know that table is now working fine. Okay, so now we've created those tables. I'm gonna show you how I keep them organized. And the way I do that is by creating groups. And those groups can be anything. For instance, a family surname or a region or a district. So that then if you're creating, say, towns and villages for that region, it keeps them all grouped together, okay? So let's start doing that now. Right, before we get started on reorganizing uh, the columns, I wanted to point out this search field. Now, if you type any keyword into here, it will automatically find everything within your database relating to that entry. So for instance, it's found all of the Banshee squad. You can do this for any keyword you want, whether it's a surname, uh, a village, whatever. So if you don't want to reorganize your columns the way I'm about to show you, you don't have to. You can use this search field. Um, I prefer to reorganize the columns just so that at a glance I can see everything I want rather than having to keep going back to the search field. So uh, let's start organizing uh, the columns now. Now at the moment you can see these fields are in whatever order the fields were created. So if if you created a table with main name first, additional names and so on as you come down, that whatever order you created those fields in, that's how they will appear in column form. But what I want to do is I actually want to see, the way I like to see it is, especially for characters, is main name first, um, additional names than normally note, so I re rearrange it that way. But for this specific um, work in progress, I want to see teams, ship and base after additional names. So to change the order of the columns, I'm going to go to database and I'm going to go field properties. And I'm going to move teams up to third place. So as I click, you'll see here this jumping along. OK, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out these underscores just to show you the little error I, I mentioned. Again, I'm a bit slow at the old typing because I'm, I've got the mic right in front of my mouth and I can't quite see what I'm doing. So I'm going to click continue, update, OK. Now if I do that again and I go edit field properties, it will kick up a little error like this because I've taken those underscores out. It doesn't really matter. If you forgot the underscores, it doesn't matter. You don't have to worry too much about it. Just click continue and it will and it will work exactly the same as if the underscores were there. It's just if you have the if you have the underscores in, um, you won't get that minor error. But it really don't panic if it does show up. I'm just going to put them back in. OK update okay so I now have the columns in the correct order now here you can see that Banshee Intrepid Trident are all over the place Banshee is a squad and so is in um, Trident and Intrepid is a ship now imagine you were creating a character characters that were all part of one family so let's say you had five characters which were all all belong to the Brown family if you created one character one day and then three or four days later you created the next character, those characters would appear in your database in the order you created them in. So they might be spread out and all over the place, making it hard to find. So to sort them out, you can, for instance, what I did here, um, you see friends, family and important persons and so on. I renamed that to teams and and uh, what was it, teams, ships and pace, uh, bases, and I've put Banshee in there. And so every time there was a Banshee team, remember, I put Banshee in there. So to organise that now, I would go to Edit, Sort, and whatever field you've put your reference point in or your keyword, 
you would move to this column. So you, if you watch, as soon as I add team, ship, and base, you'll see this organize. Okay? So now everyone with Banshee is organized together. Everyone from the Intrepid is organized and Trident. Okay? And it doesn't matter in which field you put that. So you, if you've created a, whatever field, if you, you chose to put a um, typus, if you chose, for instance, a species, you could align all the species together just by adding it to the sorting field. Okay, is that clear? I hope so. Okay, so that was video two in the character series. Now, whether you choose to create the tables or just use the grouping, uh, I hope you found this video useful. So until next time, See you later.